Happy Tuesday traders. Long time not seen, but we are trying to renew our pre-market daily videos. Stay tuned. The festival atmosphere ahead of Christmas and end of the year was well felt yesterday in Wall Street. Wall Street hit record closing highs on Monday as optimism increased about the likelihood of lower corporate tax rates as the Republican tax bill moved closer to passage. So we had a lot to do with round and big numbers yesterday. For example, it was the 17th record close of the year for the Dow Jones. Well down. The Dow is up more than 25% year to date and gained this year only more than 5,000 points. This is the first time ever in history. The Nasdaq on its end touched the 7,000 mark. The Nasdaq, the, the Nasdaq then closed up 0.8%. The S&P 500 advanced 0.6%. So what is this festival, festival in Wall Street all about? It's actually the wide belief the tax reform is going to be passed maybe today and with the belief that corporate taxes will go down investors think the market is not too expensive congress is expe expected to vote today on a plan that would slash the federal corporate tax rate to 21 percent which investors are betting will boost profits as well as trigger share buybacks and higher dividend payouts now, this Congress has shown an inability to pass anything over the past five years, so passing the bill would mark a big win for Republicans and the first major Trump accomplishment, so you'd expect the markets to be happy on that. Right, Bitcoin mania. You know, if I, if you have looked at the price action in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, there is no doubt that a mania is taking place. Now, some market pundits believe that most individual investors should avoid these manic periods as they carry, you know, too much risk. But my view is that while risk may well be high, the rewards can be tremendous. You know, many people made fortunes in 1999-2000 and thus with a prudent approach to trading held onto it. Now we talked about bubbles and manias in the capital markets and how to trade them yesterday in our investors club which take, takes place every Monday at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Our job isn't to argue over the merits of the mania but to trade and profit from it and my view is that the bitcoin bubble has a long way to go before disaster sets in it is going to be widely volatile but you can if you can manage the risk and reap exceptional returns um you are going uh, to make fortune using of course a rigid methodology now Let's take a look on a couple of stocks involved in the Bitcoin mania. First of all, LFIN, uh, which was debut only last week. And in a matter of days, you know, it has traded up more than 12-fold. Yesterday, we traded Riot, R-I-O-T, in tra trading room. You can catch it up, you know, in the YouTube video. We post every day our trading. And, you know, I thought I was late yesterday to, to, to Riot after entering it only after it bridged the high of 33.66 that was above the four, fourth level of the pivot point level but just take a look on the sprint it gave one way ticket to heavens now it very much brings you know memory of memories of the dot com bubbles from 1999 2000 this is the sort of stuff that happens in bubbles and is very similar to, to what happened back in 1999 when stocks would go nuts anytime an internet connection was promoted. But you shouldn't be afraid of bubbles, you know. On the contrary, you will do your best money if you know how to trade it. Warren Buffett is well known of saying an investor should act as though he had a lifetime decision card with just 20 punches on it and it seems the bitcoin mania is one of the 20s whether the bitcoin business is legitimate 
or not is a secondary con- consideration that doesn't matter much to those that are watching the price action like us. Both Riot and LFIN were well designated in our daily report for our subscribers. All right, hot stocks on the radar for Tuesday. And first of all, the economic calendar and besides the house vote, markets are watching today some economic reports, including housing starts at uh, 8.30 Eastern time. That is well before um, the opening bell. Earnings are also expected from Carnival Cruise, CCL, Darden Restaurants, DRI, and a fact set and Navistar and AV, that is in the morning before the opening bell, FedEx, Red Hat and Micron report after the close. So I'm going to put also Roku, R-O-K-U on my screen today. We traded it yesterday in TradeNet trading room. Roku stock climbed more than 1.5% in extended trading. Morgan Stanley reported more than 5% passive stake in this streaming device company. It looks good for another climb. Have a great trading day, guys, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.